way to fight opioid abuse is being tried out now at Norwich Hospital. It uses recovery coaches in the emergency room to offer immediate treatment services. News 8's Tina Detell is live in New London with that. Tina. You know, last year, 1,038 Connecticut residents died of an opioid overdose, with 82 right here in New London County. Now, since then, there have been stepped up efforts to fight this crisis, and today, members of Connecticut's con uh, congressional delegation got an update in Norwich. Senators Chris Murphy and Richard Blumenthal arrived at the William Backus Hospital, along with Congressman Joe Courtney, to join a room full of medical professionals and others on the front line of the opioid crisis. Chief of Medicine at Backus Hospital. My name is TJ. I'm a young person in recovery. The delegation was here to get an update on the efforts to fight addiction. The pharmaceutical drug companies have a lot to answer for here. And provide prevention services. The politics of it, the recognition that we're in a national crisis created some momentum to recognize that we needed to do something different. Among the changes are the addition of recovery coaches who meet with overdose victims in emergency rooms and offer immediate treatment services. Absolutely. As a person in recovery, I often disclose this to people and it makes them feel more comfortable with me. They're there to make connections, not assessments. When overdose victims are brought into the emergency room here, doctors and nurses often save their lives. But those doctors and nurses sometimes see the same patients over and over again. And this is aimed at stopping that cycle. Katie Sakira says she could have used a recovery coach when she got clean 10 years ago. I think that would have been fabulous. Just some, a point person to call with no judgment, you know, just be there no matter what. Earlier this year, Senators Murphy and Blumenthal helped secure $5.5 million in federal emergency aid for Connecticut to fight this crisis. Education awareness campaigns around prescription drugs and also to do Narcan training. Many of these efforts have saved lives and have helped stop addicts from overdosing again. His recovery continues to grow with great supports and other things. Now, the recovery coaches are also funded through the federal grants, and they are also at Lawrence and Memorial Hospital right here in New London. We're live outside the New London Newsroom at the day. Tina Detell, News 8.